Hello, so this video is quite different than the videos that we did in the past. It's more like a tutorial about how to set up the Zoom F6 as an interface for your MacBook. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in the MIDI control section of the MacBook. Also how to do it in Ableton and in Audition. This video has timestamps. So if you're an Audition Ableton user or you just wanna know where to do it in the MIDI controller, there will be uh, the timestamp in the description down below. So now let's go into the Zoom F6 and I show you the different interface setups. Marcel, I think you should actually tell them why you would need an interface. Yes, I think it's a, it's a good question. Um, normally I would use the Zoom F6 as a field recorder, you know, going out there and recording sounds. But for our next video that is about convolution reverb, we want to do some live recordings straight into the MacBook. And then I, and I looked it up because I thought, oh, you know, I have the Zoom F6, I could just plug it into the MacBook and then it magically happens, right? But it's actually not so easy if you do it the first time. And that's why I thought I make this video for you that if you also trying to set up your field recorder, like in Zoom F6 uh, with the MacBook, maybe that can be really helpful for you as well. So to activate the interface, there are two options. So first we go into the menu we go down to the system, the USB. And then in the USB section, you see audio interface and audio interface with recording, what is currently off. If I wanna turn this on, then I can record everything that happens on the computer and outside with the Zoom F6. Make sure if you do this, that you don't have a 192 or 32-bit activated so you go down to 48 24 and then you can record everything from the computer uh, from your macbook into the zoom f6 at the same time but what we're gonna do is we go to audio interface and we are not doing the stereo mix so that means that everything what is recorded on channel 1 to channel 6 will be uh, recorded into a stereo mix we're gonna choose the third part and this is multi-track because then we can select each single um, XLR output as a separate track and we're gonna just use one track because I want to show you what you can do in the live recordings but now we need to activate it also on the MacBook and that's what I'm gonna show you now Okay, so we have everything set up and uh, before we starting, I also want to like to mention if you are uh, selecting the options with interface and recording, make sure that you go into the output menu and you have the headphone section selected to USB. That way you can also listen to the recordings when you have it plugged in. Also, you see we have the USB-C cable plugged in. We have the DAT microphone plugged in. And also what we're doing is, you see this is the Zoom H1N. This goes now, everything that we're recording now goes also into the Zoom H1. You see there's a lot of stuff going on. You also may probably see, oh, well, why is he using these headphones? I'll show you what happened yesterday. So I lost the jack. So now we have to fix this. So here we go. Okay, we're starting. Everything is activated. I can see everything is running. Also, um, on the multi-track mode, you will see that the levels look different. They have these nice lines. So then you also know, okay, it's working. Test, yo. okay, I can see it. Now we click on go. And then we go into the utilities. And then in the utility section, there's the audio MIDI setup. Now we activate this. And then you will already see H and F series multi-track. That's all. Now we have this selected. That's all we have to do. We don't need to do anything else right now. And uh, now we go into Audition first. So this is selected. Now let's head over to Audition. And that's when I had my, my first uh, hurdle, like my first problems, because I knew I can select the the audio interface, but then I couldn't hear myself. And then if you do this the first time, you don't know. Okay, now Audition asked me, your system audio hardware setting have changed. And now we click on yes, because we want to review it. And then it says not working. This is an old one that I tried out. So now we just using for the input, the H and F series multi-track USB. Yes. 
and for the output we have to use the external headphones. Yes, here we go. Now what we're doing is we're gonna open a new track. Let's say we open a multi-track section. Okay, now very important is now we want to record what we're doing. We click on record. Now you see the levels already jumping, but we don't hear ourselves right now. So how to fix this is you have this little eye and that's we have to also toggle on. And now we can hear ourselves. Big mistake that I just did is now we only have the sound on the left ear because we want mono, right? So now what we're doing is we open a new field, maybe another multi-track section, and then we're changing the master to mono. And now the default stereo input has to be mono. And then we know that we have the multi-track selected on channel one. You see now here the H and F series has all the audio tracks from one to six and the DAT is in track one. So now that's what we need to do. We select this track and now we can record again. Hello, you see now it's all this mono. We don't hear ourselves until we toggle the eye on. And now how to record this is super easy. Here we click on this button and now Hello. Hello, 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 and, and what's so cool is I want to show you something, and that, that, that is, is so fun. fun. I know my voice is not the best, but if you use some reverb, it sounds way better. Let's see. So what we're doing is we go into the my effect racks. It's also a little delayed. So if you if you hear yourself, then you hear yourself first talking, and then you have it in your ear. That's so much fun. So, so let's, let's see what we can, can do here. Oh, I see. This, this is something that actually not work here in this section. In Ableton it will work. Okay, so we have that. Now we stop it. Now we listen back. And now, hello, hello, hello. Hello, and, and what's mm. so cool is and now I can, can use. I want to show you something, and that's my that is so fun. Plugins. I know my voice is not the the best. If you use some reverb, it sounds way better. Let's now see. we have the reverb. So what we're doing is we go. But this is a cool in Ableton. In Ableton, we can do this all live. Also a little delayed. Let's do it. If you if you hear yourself. Wow. Okay. So now we have the audio interface. Oh, now it works. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. As I speak, is now the round reverb activated. You see, I also have to try things out. And I could do this for the next couple of hours. This is so cool. Ah, this is so cool. And our next video be a little like it has these. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't want to say too much. I'm stopping here right now because it is, it is very slow. Now we go to Ableton. Now you saw how we do it in audition. Also, learning by doing. You see, it's uh, it's 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 great, and I like to keep these uh, mistakes or these uh, learning curves in the video because I, I think it's it's really fun when things don't always look so professional. Uh, and I just say this as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> now now I show you how to do it in Ableton, and there's a, a very very sneaky part because now when you think you have your H and F series activated and also the external headphones, but you still think, but I'm not hearing anything. Make sure you always check the input configurations and you see channel three and four is activated because the F6 has six channels. So we have to make sure that this is one and two is activated. We click on okay. And now you can hear my voice. Now we are live. So how do we record this? Uh, we see we are here in audio track three. So then we select the recording and then, hello, 
here we are. Now we recording with the Zoom F6 direct into Audition. So let's see what we can use when we use uh, the Valhalla reverb, what happens just uh, for the fun. Because I, I love this Valhalla reverb. Hello. One of my one favorite, of my favorite is, is this one. Hello, everybody. Okay, so this was a lot of fun for me just for making this video because like you learn by doing and uh, it's just great. But to be honest, the Zoom F6 is a great recorder. There's only one thing that uh, I, I realized is that when I use it as an interface, I can't change the gain of the microphone. So I can't change the volume. So there was one thing that I see that the level changing, but I don't see it actually happening while I'm recording. So this is one thing, but rather than this, it is, it is fantastic what you can do with your voice alone. Yesterday night, I spent hours, you know, recording my voice using, uh, I also got now this launch key from Novation. I bought it and uh, it is, it is, it is fantastic what, what, what what it, what you can do especially if you're a beginner like me and you discover all these new ways it's it is and i know i don't have a good voice like talking or singing it sounds terrible but with a little bit of reverb i think i sound pretty good but i, I let you go now um thank you so much for watching if you have watched until now and uh I promise you the next video, I'm gonna be so excited to show it to you um, about the Convolution Reverb. So stay tuned for this and uh, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you.